Welcome to Power BI. Today we are going to see the DAX function called is blank, and we will also see at the end of the video its main difference with the function called is empty. Basically, what is blank will do is it will test a particular value, and if it is containing blanks, then it will return true, else it will return false. We will try to look at the usage of is blank function using a practical example. So I'll simply go to enter data. And I will specify the column one as a name. I'll give the names. I'll create one more column called total marks. And Mary and Rose did not appear in the exam at all. So now I will just rename the name of the table over here as marks. Okay. okay, the table has now been loaded, name and total marks. Click on new column. Just simply type in is blank. And Power BI will tell you, checks whether a value is blank and returns true or false. So inside this, we will simply give the total marks column. As you can see for Mary and for Rose these two things are coming as true because they are having blanks Whenever you are having blanks you need the total marks to be zero because Mary and Rose did not appear for their exam so I want the blanks to be replaced by zero how I can do that again I'll right click over here go to new column I will name this as new total shift enter then you give if condition after that you have to give the logical test so I say is blank okay so inside is blank we will write total marks right so I if this total marks is blank I'll close this right then what should happen I should give the true condition that means if it is true if it is containing blanks then return me zero else return me the column itself which is total marks you see this is going to be my new total and I can use this new total in my report instead of this total marks now this is pretty much the usage of is blank one important thing to note here is uh, sometimes it will behave strangely especially with textual values so if I go to enter data B is not married and C and D we are not sure what is their marital status so we are remaining blank now if I load the data I'll, over here we have the table called marital status right I hope you are able to see this name for C and for D we do not know the marital status which is why we are having blanks over here now it may appear blank for you I create over here another column with the same thing is blank is blank test right and I say is blank and I say marital status now you might think that for C and for D it should come true right but look even if it is there is blank for C and D it is appearing as false so you can test this right so you can create one more column over here and you say in this column I need the max of this marital status okay and en enclose this max of marital status with, with another DAX function called length right L E N now you see returns the number of characters in a text string so it will let you know what is the what is the length of that particular value right now it is expected for yes and no you are going to get one because why for this it is one for the second row also it is one which is fine but this particular guy and over here these two are also returning as one that means they are not blank 
right so these kind of things you have to be a bit careful while using the textual thing with is blank i hope this particular explanation sums up the usage of is blank dax function now for is empty let me go ahead and go to the report right and we create a particular measure right the main difference between is empty and is blank is is empty is going to work on a table level on a tabular level while is blank is going to work on a particular value on a particular column value okay test for is empty i'll say is empty as evident it says it returns true if the specified table or table expression is empty right so in the table name i have to give as marks so so uh, what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and create a simple matrix over here and i'll try to pull the new measure that i have created that is test for is empty look it is returning as false right why it is false because this particular table called marks has got data right if i go to the marks table this is the data that we created there are five rows right so it is not empty however if we now go ahead and create go to enter data okay over here i'll just write as test name of the table i'll give is empty table okay i'll load the data this is my empty table and create a particular measure and in this measure i'll write is empty and table name i'll i'll write over here as empty table okay now if i go ahead and bring in the table over here okay and i try to pull in the test for empty look it is true why because this particular table which is empty table does not have any data so it is pretty much simple guys the is empty will return true when the table does not have any data at all right so hope you are able to understand the differences between is blank and is empty so guys if you are liking my explanation do not forget to subscribe to my channel because it is through your subscription that i get the encouragement to make further better videos so Hit that like button and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.